Hello folks. You know when I purchased my flying bubble machine from xheli.com, I noticed another machine there that caught my eye. It's the Aerosky 550 hex rotored flying machine. I wondered if it was actually any better than my Lotus T580. That one burned out so many speed controllers and for the price I'd hope so. I like my Lotus because it's so quiet. Still fly it too. Besides, I wanted to find out for myself if adding two motors on these hex rotor machines actually made them fly smoother than the quads. You know, my DJI Phantom is also great, but to be totally great for t photography, that one needs six satellites online. Of course, that adds to expense, but it's pretty smooth. So this looked like a good deal, and I've had good luck with XLE over the years, so I popped for one. Uh, it's important to note that this is the ready-to-fly version and you're going to need your set up your transmitter first. That only means you must put the switches in the right reversing or normal position where it's going to flip over and die on you in your first try like instantly. Well, here I'm showing how the switches have to be set because the manual is wrong. Also, if I did not have my helicopter test stand, I would have killed it instantly too. It was the only way I could figure out what was wrong and how to fly it. You know, if you've ever flown a quad and if something's wrong, it flips over, like instantly, on the ground. Boom. Well, setting the gyros, the barometer, and the other sensors takes a minute. And understand that arm means the motors are on at idle. You'll see how it goes. These procedures are not all that clear in the manual, so when you see me do it, you'll understand right away. It's pretty easy. Aileron reverse, elevator normal, rudder reversed. It doesn't say about throttle. Uh, the throttle also has to be put in a reverse mode. Parametric. All right, let's turn it on. Armed. Oh, that's wrong. Well, I think the elevator is backwards. Get this thing trimmed. That's backwards. That rudder is backwards. Rudder has got to be this way. Aileron is backwards. Elevator and throttle have to be reversed. Rudder, normal, aileron, normal. This to work right. As you can see, the book shows the controls wrong absolutely opposite and never mentions the throttle or even the other switches. So note the throttle has to be reversed also. Left control stick in the upper left Here's corner. Here's how I centered the gyros and tested the other switches. And the right control stick in the lower center. LED. Okay, I guess that's calibrated. Armed. Okay, I've pushed on to the landing skids my noodles for some softer, more absorbent landings to get it up a little higher in the grass and also to make it easier to see because this one's difficult to see. Okay, let's take it out for its maiden flight. It's 22 degrees and the wind's blowing about 8 mile per hour. Some notable specs while we're flying here is the six motors are 920 kV and uh, they're driven by six brushless 40 amp hobby wing Skywalker ESCs. Can carry about three pounds pretty easy without straining or getting overheated. The alarms are amazingly well built and strong due to the design of this ultra strong material and this webbing. Uh, the circuit boards are also heavy PCB so if you're plugging in or out or moving wires or plugging in NASs or whatever you're not going to break it. Um, the body has its main motor wiring all built in too. It's like a giant circuit board. This really cleans up the installation, hides all those heavy power wires and leaves plenty of room for other equipment.
Uh, the brain is in the MWC flight board. It hosts an 18 mega 2560 CPU. It's got MPU 6050 gyros and accelerometer. It also has an HMC 583 mag and MS 5611 barometer. The battery requires a 4 cell 14.8 volt at least 2200. The unit also comes with a digital battery alarm to warn in time for landing or backing off the power till the alarm stops. It'll come on again, but as the battery lowers, uh, it gives you cool. plenty of time to land. I'm not kidding you. The transmitter and receiver are Hobbywing Skywalkers also with a 6 channel uh, base and 2.4 gigahertz trends. If there's any twitches, is from my fingers because <laughs> it's cold. All right, let's take it up. <laughs> it climbs out. I'll tell you that. I hope you enjoy watching it fly as much as I'm having fun flying it because it's heavy and it really is smooth. Wow, it's just really nice. Yeah, really nice. The auto level holds real good too, but moving it needs a lot of stick. It's kind of like half rate. That's because it's trying to maintain level. And uh, the altitude control also holds, but you need to be at least 75 feet up for that barometer to get a lock. I like flying freestyle. It's fun to fly. It feels good, so I'm not using any of those switches here. Just having fun flying. Uh oh, gotta land. That's it. <laughs> that is totally wild. Well, folks, if you're going to get one of these, I hope uh, seeing the transmitter set up here helps you out. And uh, I hope you have good luck with it. Myself, I love it. It's smooth. Uh, the extra two motors on there really make it smoother than I thought it would be. And the radio stayed in range and never missed a beat. And it's, uh, it's really fun. I like it a lot. Stay tuned. Never know what's coming next. And happy flying.